All right, so in this video, I just want to show you a real quick tip, a way we can actually edit those frozen files. Now, if you haven't done so already, be sure to watch the first Pro Tools Freeze Track Explained video. That way you'll be up to speed with everything I'm talking about. We're not going to cover it twice here. I want to keep this quick. All right, now when I say edit the files, I don't actually mean you know edit our frozen file. Instead, we're going to actually pull them in, but I just want to show you that we can actually do that. So let's go ahead and get started. I have Reactor 5 here on an instrument track. We have the Avid Pro Multiband. We have Trimmer for drums. It's from FX Expansion. We have Ozone 7 Vintage uh, Tape here, a little tape saturation. Then we have Trash 2, and then we have Etch. Okay, and that's on our hi-hats. And for Trimmer, I'm splitting out our drums, so our kick, our snare, our hi-hats. Those are all split out onto separate aux tracks, and I show how to do that in that previous freeze track video, so be sure to watch that. Okay, so if I just play here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using the Ozone 7 filter, Trash, and Etch to further mix our drums outside of Trimmer, okay? Let's hop back over here, and I also have some automation here on this Etch track for our hi-hats, okay? So let's say we have everything how we want it. Let's go ahead and hold down Alt, and I'll just go and freeze everything here. So now we'll just let these tracks render and freeze. Okay, so here we are now. Our reactor track was rendered, trimmer was rendered, and all of that stuff was uh, split out there. All of that audio is rendered, including that processing from our plugins, it's rendered with this audio here. Now, as you know, we can't really do anything with this audio, this frozen track. You know, we can't really do much editing at all. So say we want to edit this. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And again, be sure to watch that first video so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's come over here to our recording drive, that's what I call it. Go to my session folder and go to rendered files. And in here, we can see all of the files that were rendered. So here's the trimmer file, the toms, the snare, the rim, the kick, everything that was split out. And again, we can always click this here. And we can actually play it here, right in Windows. This, this is Groove Music, okay? So in order to edit these files here, which is what these files actually are, you know, freeze is not magic. All it does is it takes the audio or the MIDI, it runs it through, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, it runs it through those plugins and then it processes out the audio, just like bouncing, except it's bouncing it right on the track and then freezing it. Okay, so it's not magic, but that's exactly how it works. So we can actually edit these files if we, you know, if we want to. I could grab all of them here and I could pull them right in my clips list. Look at that. Now we have all of those audio files. And also, by the way, let me come down to the bottom, let's pull this back up. Maybe I want just the kick here, so I'll just grab both of those, the left and the right, and I'll just pull into this gray area down here. And there it is. It actually, I had this track selected, so it threw it up here for me. So there's the kick. We can actually see that. Let me pull this down. All right, so here's the frozen kick. We can't do nothing to that, but here's the kick that we just pulled in, which is the exact same audio. Solo that, let me take these off of solo. But the thing I can do is I can separate it, I can fade it, you know, I can do whatever I want to it now because it's, you know, it's, it's like a regular audio file that you recorded in Pro Tools. So that's just a quick little tip on a way you can actually pull that audio in and, and actually edit it within Pro Tools, all of that frozen audio. So let's go to our uh, instrument track here. Let me just pull this in. I need to pull it in down here. Pull it onto an audio track I already have. Grab that, turn this one off. So that's our reactor track, which, all right. And this audio down here, as you can see, there's no plugins on this insert, but that's fine because, you know, these are frozen. This is, this audio file here is this audio file right here that we just drug in, the reactor with the uh, multiband uh, dynamics. So then again, you could go in here, you can edit things up. Uh, you know, however you want, move things around. I mean, this may be useful, it may be not useful for anyone. I just wanted to mention that it's one of the things that you can do. Now, of course, you would probably be better off just committing to audio and then deactivating, hiding and deactivating your frozen track if you really wanted to get in there and edit with the audio. Or, of course, you could unfreeze your track and then make your edits here and then refreeze it. I just wanted to mention that, you know, dragging in these files is 
possible. It's just a really quick tip I wanted to mention. Maybe someone can make use of it. Maybe you can't, but there you go. It's just a quick tip. And like I said, if you know you're going to want the audio to edit, you'll probably instead choose commit instead of freeze, or you may freeze and then commit. It really just depends on your workflow, but check it out. It's you know just a really cool tip. Once again, all of those files, those rendered files will be within your session file folder, whatever your, the name of your session is. So my, my session is track freeze tip. And here's the folder, pop into it. Here's the render files. This is everything that was rendered. Okay, pretty cool. So go check that out. Just a quick tip on how to actually edit the actual files, the actual frozen files here in Pro Tools 12.4.